Hello, my name is Elizabeth Salazar Sanchez. Um, I graduated from Van High School in 2022 as the first Hispanic salutatorian. I'm going to be attending UT Tyler in the fall to major in nursing. Ultimately, I want to be a NICU nurse. Growing up was great. Um, my family was always around. I'm a really big family person. They have always been by my side. My mom was actually a stay-at-home mom. She's always cared for us in the house as we were growing up. And my dad, he worked in the oil fields growing up. So he would be away for two weeks and then he'd be home for two weeks. It was hard at times because he, um, sometimes he'd miss holidays. But you know, those two weeks that he did have off, like we were um, privileged enough to be able to go out and like have fun with him. My parents' thoughts on my education, um, they were always very like proud of me. They, they pushed me a lot. Um, they actually immigrated to the United States in the 90s. So education wasn't really a big thing in their culture growing up. They actually only finished sixth grade and that was it. So they, very, they really encouraged me and my sister to like keep going and now we're all encouraging my younger siblings to you know keep going and trying to get a good education because they couldn't have that. So they just want better for their kids. Sometimes it was hard to be able to explain to my parents um, my education and how I was taking it seriously. At first it was hard for them to understand. I feel like now they really do understand it. You know, I had to explain many times that I wanted to go to college and they didn't know how they were going to put me through college because, you know, I want to be a nurse and it's not cheap. But I knew that scholarships were a huge thing that I needed. And so when I tried to explain that to them, they really understood it and they kept pushing me. But there was times that I would like ask them about something and they didn't know. So I'd go to my sister, Edith. Um, I always look up to her, and I really appreciate everything she's ever done for me. Elizabeth, growing up, she was always smart. I always saw it. She learned everything so quickly, had no difficulty with anything. And I knew she was going to be smart. And when she went into junior high, I actually told her, I was like, you're very smart. You should take advanced classes. I was like, I couldn't do them. I was like, but you should try. I was like, you're very smart. And she was so nervous. She was like, I don't know. I was like, well, if you can't do it, I was like, you can always change your classes. And she said, okay, I'll do it. So ever since seventh grade, she just started. And from there on out, she went to every advanced class. She was just smart. And I couldn't believe that she just did it with like such ease. What drove me to be a good student was actually my parents. They, um, I wanted to make them proud because I knew that the hard work that they had done, you know, coming over here, starting a new life, like it needed to pay off. And I know it has paid off in a lot of aspects, but I think that my success needed to be theirs as well, and it is. I remember going to my field trips to colleges. Um, I remember eighth grade, we went to TJC. Um, it was like the first time that I actually went to a college and was like thinking, whoa, I need to go here. Like I need to go to college after high school. And then I also remember going to UT Tyler in, um, in fourth grade. That one was, you know, it was just a field trip to me. I was a little kid, but I loved looking at the campus and I also remember like, you know, joking around with my friends and telling them, I'm going to go here one day. And little did little Elizabeth know, like, it was true. The first time that I heard after high school comes college, I didn't really think much about it. Um, I remember hearing a lot about college when we started doing a lot of activities in the middle school with like colleges like we made ornaments one time for the big Christmas tree at the middle school and they had to be a college logo and then I remember starting to see flags of the colleges up in the hallways and in the cafeterias but it wasn't until junior high that I really took the slogan to heart and realized that 
I did need to continue my education in order to have a better life. I think that the slogan after high school comes college has really encouraged me to work hard and actually want to go to college. Before hearing the slogan, I never really thought about college. I thought, you know, high school is the end. And um, after high school comes college has really pushed me and it's been the driving force behind my success. My goals for college are to enjoy every second of it. I know it's like the, the new like chapter in my life and I want to be able to experience it the best way possible. I'm actually going to be in the honors program, so I know that's going to make things more hard because I'm also in the nursing program, which is one of the hardest programs that they have at UT Tyler, but I want to be able to learn more than just the basic. And I know the honors program is going to help me do that. I know that I want to continue my education. And if it wasn't for the slogan, after high school comes college, I don't think I would have actually kept going in my education. One of my biggest goals in life is to make my family proud and repay my parents for everything they've done for me. Um, one day I want to be able to, you know, buy them a house or pay for a vacation and they not have to worry about, you know, the expenses. I also really want to, like, spoil my siblings and their kids because I think that every person in my life right now has helped me get to where I am, so I want to help them as well. I feel like building relationships has always been really important to me and I've built relationships with a lot of teachers and counselors. Um, I was always in the counselor's office, whether it be just to go check on them or to ask them a question. I felt like building relationships with them was really important because they do a lot for the school. And all of my scholarships are the reason I'm going to college. Um, I got into the honors program as an honors scholar. I just want to give a huge thank you to all the scholarships that have made me go into college possible. Um, the Education Foundation, the UT Tyler Honors Program, um, Peoples and DSB, all of those scholarships have helped me get basically a full ride to college. I just want to tell the staff that um, if it wasn't for you guys, you know, students wouldn't be pushed the way they are. I feel like my teachers played a huge role in who I am today and the person that I've become because my education wasn't really important until teachers started to push me and, you know, they encouraged me a lot. and. I think it is a wonderful thing. And I know teaching isn't easy at times. I know it can get stressful and hard, but I feel like y'all have a lot of impact on students and the love that you give those students is wonderful and it really helps them. So just keep doing what you're doing.